Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions, my name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something called Egg Boss by developer GP Lackey with art by Paloma Dawkins and music by Ylang Ylang. Uh, this is a very simple, very uncomplicated premise, essentially it is a psychedelic neon fueled matching game. And the presentation and art aesthetic alone were actually enough to make me really like this one and made me want to actually show it off in a video. Uh, but I will grant to you that, honestly, the, some of its parts, I mean, are greater than the actual premise, which is just that we're going to be smashing some eggs uh, based on the sounds that they make when we click on them. Of course, you can probably tell already, just based on this title screen, this is definitely a seizure warning episode. If you have any issues, photosensitivity or epilepsy you may want to uh, forego this episode. Uh, you know, anybody that doesn't though, feel free to uh, click on through and try this experience out. It's pretty wild and a lot of flashing lights and crazy colors. Uh, but really, I think what's at the heart of this is the premise that, and this is what the author actually described the game as, chill with these colorful eggs and the tiny animals that live in them. That's like, that's enough right there. So why don't I click on one of these eggs and we'll get started here and check out some Egg Boss. Alright, so this is the game screen. We've got a pile of eggs here, all of them that look fairly similar. Uh, all strobing in various neon colors with some very soothing music in the background. The music and the art are really absolutely beautiful to me, and they really are what make me uh, interested in this more so than just the, the matching of eggs. Uh, but let's see if we can discover some animals within these. So I'm going to actually click on these and listen intently to hear what sounds they make. Okay, so I think we've had a couple of repeats in there. This one and... Wait. Yeah, there we go. I must have had one already clicked when I clicked on the second one. So you just basically have to find ones that have matching sounds and then pair them up. And, you know, that's really the whole premise. Let's see if there's another... Uh, I think I heard a bloopy before. Yeah, right there. Hooray for matching abilities. Uh, some of the eggs are actually a little hard to hear at times. There's some that actually can kind of overwrite each other's sounds a little bit, because some of them are just basically chimes. So it can be a bit easy to confuse the uh, background music with the foreground music, or the foreground sound effects, rather. So like this one, for example. Just a very subtle little chime. Not much else there. Pretty sure I've heard that one somewhere in this pile over here, though. Yeah, it's this one right here, right? Was it not? Oh. I had it slightly off. Yeah, my memory is very strange when it comes to these things. Sometimes I get it exactly on, sometimes I remember it with like a one egg proximity around the area. So a little silly. Uh, so that one's a little like squirtle sound. Should remember that one if I hear it again. Obviously the more you do this, uh, the faster you'll get at it. And also the uh, less chances you have to mess up when there's more and more an uh, animals kind of occupying the space, less things to accidentally click on. Is that it? There we go. That one totally looks like a Wobbuffet, doesn't it? I think that's the one I'm thinking of. There's definitely some Pokemon here on this screen, and that's okay. Uh, so it's like a little hammer smash sound, and then a gong. Some really interesting sound design going on in here. There's actually some sounds in this that I like. I wouldn't have ever mapped to an animal until you actually see the map to that particular imaginary animal. And I think there's actually some, like, a really good idea at the core of this that the gameplay for something doesn't necessarily have to be so overcomplicated or, or ridiculously weird. Uh, in fact, I think you can just take something as simple as a matching game like this and add a collection element, and you could have something with some pretty long legs to it, honestly. Uh, collecting these animals would put them into some sort of a little area where you could, like, hang out with them more. Uh, I think that would definitely be a really fun thing to do, and, you know, each time you play this, maybe you get a different batch of animals with different sounds. Uh, maybe there could even be some DLC or something, adding more and more later, but, you know, I shouldn't probably give anybody ideas with that. Uh, but I really like the animation style to this, too. Everything is just enough that it feels like they're kind of alive in a weird way, and they're all kind of dancing around. Alright, so we got a little ticky-ticky kind of snake sound going on. 
Oh, right here. Easy enough. And a uh, hypnotic snake, nonetheless. There he is. Very pretty. I sound like a crying baby. There we go. So I'm getting down to the last few. That's some sort of weird weasel, isn't it? Okay, sort of a happy spectrum rainbow chime. What? Did I just hear the same one twice? Yeah, right next to each other. Oh, it's a turtle. It's a turtle. Can't seem to find that other one. Oh, there's those two. Oh, look, it's like a little baby Bronto. Isn't that adorable? Oh, is that out it? Doesn't that sound the same? Let it play out. Oh, it must... Okay, I think I just misclicked and also misheard it. Oh, look at that crazy beautiful beetle butterfly thing. That's weird. I like it, though. Okay, the gong... Now I'm going to start getting them by accident, just because there's so few options left. Yeah, those two are right next to each other. That's basically a Furby, uh, combined with those little things that you squeeze and their eyes pop out, I guess. Okay, nighttime cricket sounds. There we go. Oh, it's just a frog. With, like, leaves for arms or something. And that should be the last one. There we go, so we can actually watch all these animals hang out together if you want for a while. Or we can click on the star here and that'll actually bring us to a little sound test area where we can actually listen to each one of their sounds and watch them animate. I could also see there being sort of like a little Mario Paint inspired sort of unlock area where uh, you can use the sounds that these animals make and put them on a timeline and actually make some like very rudimentary music with them. I think that could be kind of fun as well. But just in general, this is uh, one of those games that really I just enjoy the idea of. The presentation was super soothing and just really relaxing. Uh, and just, you know, a lot of fun. There is nothing too crazy or weird uh, as far as gameplay conventions here. This is about as less, or the least complex that you could get as far as gameplay conventions, but I think it's really presented well. And sometimes I think that by itself is worthy of a little bit of uh, accolades. Look at that. It's like a little coiled up goal and then you click on it and turn it into a Bronto. Who would have thought? I wish these animals would stay out of their base setup of the animation a little longer. I'd like to see them more. Anyway, that's Egg Boss. It's a very short little experience. I wish there was more to it. I really enjoyed this very much. If you'd like to check out Egg Boss yourself, you can play it right in your browser. There's going to be a link right in the description for this. You can play it as long as you want, as many times as you want, and it will mix up the order of the animals every time you play it, so it's not like you're going to be able to just memorize their positions or something. That would really ruin a lot of the fun. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for another episode. A bit of a shorter one today. Like I said, not a super complex game to explain, uh, but one that I thought deserved a little bit of time. Uh, as far as the video goes anyway. So thank you everybody for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it. I will bring you a new one every single day, ad infinitum. If you're still enjoying the series, make sure you let me know. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this game, of course, too. And I will see you back for another one tomorrow. So thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic night. Talk to you all later.